of style. I've lived a life that's full. The standard. And did it my way. Tonight, remembering Frank Sinatra. This is the CBS Evening News. With Dan Rather reporting from CBS News headquarters in New York. Good evening. We begin tonight with the death of an American original, Frank Sinatra. For the better part of this century, he set the standard for popular music in this country and around the world. For millions of fans, his voice was the soundtrack for a lifetime of memories. CBS's Jerry Bowen begins our coverage of Frank Sinatra, the man and his music. Fill my heart with song. Let me swing forevermore. There's never been a performer quite like Frank Sinatra. He eclipsed all who came before him and outlasted those who came later. In other words, please be true. In other words. And he did it with a style that intimated he'd been around. Truth be told, he had. When I was 17. It was a very good year. Sinatra went from skinny teenage singer with the Hoboken Four in his New Jersey hometown to solo act with the big bands on the road. It's the last call for love. And what happened Columbus Day 1944 was a first for America. 30,000 teenagers rioted outside New York's Paramount Theater because they couldn't get inside to see the phenom known as the voice. When somebody loves you, it's no good unless he loves you. All the way. Decades later, Sinatra still had trouble explaining his popularity. I really have no specific answer. I just think that the a crooner or a troubadour, let's put it that way, I think has been a symbol of entertainment that people have been attracted to for many, many years. I think they've admired anybody who can get up and sing a love song. She gets too hungry for dinner at eight. The 40s eased into the 50s, and Sinatra the singer turned actor, a ladies' man, on and off the big screen. That's why the lady is a tramp. The 50s didn't start well for Sinatra. He lost his voice and couldn't sing for a year. He lost fans when he abandoned his first wife and three children for the actress Ava Gardner. It was to be the second of his four marriages. Mess with me, fat stuff, and I'll bust you up. You must be in a hurry for trouble, Wop. But Sinatra's career rebounded dramatically. His role as Maggio in the 1953 film From Here to Eternity earned him an Oscar. And there was Las Vegas. And each time I do, just the thought of you makes me stop just before I begin. Because I've got you under my skin. In the 50s, Sinatra was the big draw there. Las Vegas became his playground. The Rat Pack, Sammy Davis Jr., Dean Martin, and others, his playmates. You dirty rat. Las Vegas was also where the Mafia rumors flourished, rumors Sinatra could never shake. Ridiculous accusations that I was uh, consorting with, with mobsters and gangsters, and that added fire to it after a while. And I just kept resenting it all the time, but I just couldn't stop it. Those fingers in my head. But he survived that and more. When the rest of the pop music world panicked over the arrival of Elvis, Sinatra simply snapped his fingers and said, let's make it a duet. The 60s became Sinatra's golden years. He was part of John Kennedy's Hollywood connection, had his own record label and a string of hit albums. Strangers in the night. Exchanging glances, wondering 
in the Strangers night. in the Night topped a Beatles song to become number one, and Sinatra had the country talking again when he made a 20-year-old actress his third wife. Her name was Mia Farrow. I have not gotten along with many members of the press because I don't believe in what they do. Bogart, when he was alive, once told me we were rather good friends through the years. And he said, the only thing you owe the public is a good performance. But now the days are short. In later years, he continued to perform, even at a time when he could have retired to live a life of seclusion with his wife, Barbara. But he seemed to have a need to be in a studio or on a stage, a need to sing. Best is yet to come. And won't it be fine? Near the end, the Sinatra voice was not as strong or steady, but the style was there, and the faithful came to see. Come the day that you're mine. We're drinking, my friend, to the end of a brief episode. He was a living legend, and America's never had many of those. So make it. One for my baby And one more for the road That long That long 